Good evening, everyone. We are getting a closer look tonight at what led up to a shooting Tuesday night that left one man dead and Clear Creek Township police officer Eric Nay critically wounded. The 911 call that led to the encounter with police and the dash cam video were both released today. Local 12's Cassie Arsenault is live in Clear Creek Township. First off, Cassie, how is Officer Nay doing tonight? Well, let's start with that good news. He's conscious. He was up on his feet today talking. He even brushed his teeth for the first time. And his fellow officers tell me that's nothing short of a miracle after what he's been through. But we are told Officer Nay still has a long road of a recovery ahead of him, as well as a surgery that he's going to have to undergo. And we were able to see, like you mentioned, that chilling video that gave us a play-by-play -play of what landed Officer Nay in the hospital in the first place. We want to warn you that this video may be upsetting to some. And out of respect for both men's families, we are stopping that video before they're shot. Eric! No! No! Oh my God, Eric! No! Oh my God! A heart-sinking moment. Sergeant Nicole Cordero just realized her partner, Officer Ney, was shot in the head during the chaos. She was pretty devastated that night. Obviously, you can see her reaction there. Uh, you know, time has passed a little bit, so uh, it's going to be tough work. You know, it's uh, going to weigh on her, I'm sure. How this unfolded was a relatively calm phone call that came in an hour before. Warren County 911, what's the address of the emergency? My husband just took our gator and he's been ramming the heck out of my car. He's, he's destroyed my car. He's mad at me and he's a mental case. 65-year-old Mark Evers' wife called 911. She said her husband was angry because she didn't wrap a horse's leg fast enough at the stables they co-owned. She told police Evers had a gun, but that it was inside the home. But as she waited for police, things escalated. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. He went back in this house, I think, and there's guns in there, so I just... And that's what led to this moment. After an hour of trying to speak with Evers, Sergeant Cordero was able to get him to fill out a police report. It was their intent to arrest him for domestic violence, but they never got that chance. What I'm going to ask you to do now is turn off the vehicle. You better put you that gun away right now. Evers bails out of the side of the gator and shoots two shots at Officer Ney. And Sergeant Cordero returns those shots at Evers. The police had been called to Evers' residence twice before for neighborhood disputes. I know on a couple of occasions previously we, we, when they were there, when the officer went to the front door, he answered the door with a gun in his hand. The investigation is now in BCI's hands. Officer Cordero is on administrative leave and Officer Ney is still in the hospital. The community prays for a full recovery and in the meantime, a constant drop of donations at the police department continues, including Chess Christian School, where Officer Ney would stop by to check in on the students frequently, because that's the type of officer that he is. You don't know the fear the family goes through every night or every day when, when their family member goes off to work, and it's just, I have no words. Now, one thing to note here is that Mark Evers' cause of death still has not been determined. Now, he, the DA tells us he had multiple gunshot wounds. Two of them are fatal. The DA also alluded that between those two, one of them seems to be self-inflicted. So depending on what the coroner says is the cause of death, this could still be a homicide or a suicide or it could remain undetermined. Live in Clear Creek Township, I'm Cassie Arsenal, Local 12 News. Cassie, I want to focus one more time on the miracle you talked about at the beginning. So Officer Nay, not only conscious, but able to walk some today? Yes, and um, I actually got to talk to one of the officers after he returned from the hospital to give me some more information on everything. And he just had a smile from ear to ear. He said he was just in awe that he was doing so well. And he's the one that said, you know, this is a miracle. I can't believe it. So everyone's really excited today. That's wonderful. Thank you, Cassie.